Hey there, Buy Smart family. Welcome back to your ultimate destination for product comparisons that save you from buyer's remorse. Today, we have a robot face-off that's more intense than a cat fight on a Roomba. On the left, we have the Tycom Robot Vacuum and Mop, and on the right, the Roborock Q7 Max Robot Vacuum and Mop Cleaner. Let's see which one will sweep you off your feet. Pun, totally intended. First up, let's talk about the elephant in the room, price. Tcom comes in at a wallet-friendly $299. Perfect if you want a robot vacuum, but also want to afford groceries this month. Meanwhile, Roborock Q7 Max is a hefty $599. For that price, it better vacuum, mop, and maybe even do your taxes. Now, let's get sucked into the next category, suction power. TCOM boasts a respectable 2700 PA suction. That's strong enough to pick up crumbs, pet hair, and maybe your will to live. But Roborock flexes with a jaw-dropping 4200 PA suction. It'll lift debris, pet hair, and probably your carpet if you're not careful. On to navigation. Ticom uses gyroscope smart navigation, following an efficient zigzag path. It's like a toddler learning to walk. Cute, but you might need to supervise. Roborock, on the other hand, has PressAsense LiDAR navigation. This thing is so smart, it can build 3D maps of your home. It's basically a tiny cleaning architect. I wouldn't be surprised if it started giving interior design tips. When it comes to mopping, Tycom has an electronically controlled water pump and three levels of water output. It's like having a mini bartender for your floors. Would you like a light mop or a heavy scrub, sir? Roborock, however, offers 30 water flow levels. Yes, 30 you can fine-tune it to the point where it's practically giving your floors a spa treatment. Now, battery life, Tikom will crawl back to its charging station when it's low on juice, much like me heading to the coffee machine at 3 p.m. Ruborock, though, can run up to 180 minutes on a single charge, covering a maximum area of 3,229 square feet. Basically, it's the marathon runner of robot vacuums. And let's not forget the special features. Ticom has carpet boost and boundary strips, which is great if you want to keep it out of your secret snack stash. Roborock flaunts a multi-directional floating all-rubber brush that resists hair tangles. Perfect if you've got pets or a roommate who sheds like one. Overall, reviews for both products are quite positive. Tycom is praised for its ease of use, effective cleaning, and affordability. However, some users noted that it struggles on carpets and has a shorter battery life. On the other hand, Roborock Q7 Max is highly recommended for its powerful suction, advanced navigation, and customizable features although some users mentioned its smaller dustbin and water reservoir. So there you have it, folks. Ticom is the budget-friendly option with solid performance, while Roborock is the high-end choice for those who want the best of the best and maybe a massage from their vacuum. Which one will you choose? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more hilarious and helpful comparisons. Until next time, keep buying smart. And remember friends, if it doesn't spark joy, vacuum it up. Product links are in the description.